Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Promise Neverland season 2 episode number 9. All right, the previous episode um things went downhill and Norman is trying not trying, he has already started to burn the whole demon village down. And uh the reason why he you know sent um Emma and Ray to find Mujika and uh, Sonju is so that he can carry out this plan and they need a little bit of time uh, to uh, for the preparations to be completed so like you know he did this so that he can get some time for his preparation and complete the whole thing that he or the whole plan that he wanted to carry out that is burn the whole village uh, down and uh, not like you know not get any interference from emma and ray because they're out so yeah he planned that quite well i was not expecting that i was thinking that he was probably uh, trying to bring mujika and sonju to him so that he can kill mujika because uh, as you know like he kind of said before that we have to kill the evil light girl and i'm not even sure if that is still his plan or that is something that he just said like he uh, like asked Norman and Ray to uh, uh, he asked Emma and Ray to bring them back just so that they can be distracted for a while or whether he really wants to kill them I'm not sure like we'll see in this episode what his full plan was like we have kind of seen half of his plan so what his full plan was so we'll see and also like now uh, like Norman is kind of hesitating because he himself saw that a few demons uh, have you know feelings just like humans have they also care for their loved ones so yeah anyways without further ado let's get started with uh, this episode this is promised neverland season 2 episode number 9 so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go Now, one thing I have to say is like, obviously for people who have watched, uh, like read the manga, like most of them are extremely disappointed because the, you know, the, like a lot of arcs has been skipped apparently. And uh, like one of the arcs was one of the best arcs that they skipped. So they're extremely mad and that's, you know, like I don't blame them. But for me who have not like, you know, read the manga, which I will probably not do because you know if I read the manga after this I am sure to be disappointed as like you know as people are saying <laughs> like how they did not adapt adapt the uh, like manga into the anime anyways so for me I don't know I just feel as if this anime is a little bit rushed that's just it because obviously I've not read the manga I am not feeling that amount of disappointment that the manga readers have got Oh boy, there we go. <laughs> Surprise Pikachu face. <laughs> Norman is like, what? Yeah. Okay, so he... He just asked them to go so that he can get some time, okay. Yeah, that's quite true. Yeah. Hmm.
you choose you chose a different path god <laughs> uh i'm not sure if that's the you know proper comparison but anyways okay where are his friends you know the new friends normans Arrogant coward. Wow, that's a statement. Arrogant coward. I'll use that, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yep, that's true. Like, why, why do I feel like something bad is going to happen now? Um. Oh, okay. All right. False alarm, apparently. Okay. I thought something bad is going to happen, you know? Okay, that was quick. Yeah, that is... Uh, yeah. Oh! Wow. Oh. Yeah. Oh no, he... Wait, what? Wait, he's luring... Wait, what? Lure... Oh, damn! Convenient! Oh, wait, what's happening? Is it because he does not consume human flesh or something like that? Oh! Oh, that thing! Yeah, that he, like she. Oh yeah, his blood! I forgot! Okay, okay, so... He's one of them, like those people whose blood, you know, if you consume, you won't degenerate. He's one of them. So he consumed Mujika's blood before. Who the? F oh, is this a backstory? Oh no, this is that girl. I, I was thinking, the what, what is this? Come on, like... Okay, she was unable to do it. Okay, she's... Oh! Yep. 
Ya. Yeah. yeah, like you have to differentiate between those two. Yeah. Hmm. Level four. I don't know what that is, but that seems quite serious. Yeah, about that. What? Oh. Okay. Um, um, will he listen to you? I don't think so. Okay. Oh, okay. They're all accepting it. Wow. Okay, so... Oh, they, they returned. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so that means no casualty happened, like no one got killed. Yeah, like... Oh, that that was um something like not something like that was oh great they're baiting them wow yeah like they're baiting them like this is Isabella most probably Hmm. Wow, she became a grandma. Great. Yeah, they're baiting them. The old production line of high cost and high return. Oh. Oh, oh. Ha! Uh, 
Okay. Huh, that sounds wonderful, doesn't it? Hmm. Uses drone. Yeah, I was thinking like it's like artificial development. All the plants are Hmm, okay. Yeah. Wait, so one thing I'm thinking, like, who is taking care of those children? Like, Isabel is there, not there. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, exactly, like... Hmm... Okay. Bilk. Yeah, I was thinking, like, he must be one of those. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um... What? What's that? Oh, is this? Um, Minerva's. Is that Minerva's? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is Minerva. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Well, yeah, he was dead, so you know. Yeah, he did. But there was also the risk, you know. So that's why I think he most probably didn't do it. Yeah, he's and his family's lives. That's why he didn't even uh, like let his family know. Hmm. 
Oh, okay. Let's see. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, but it's still... Okay. Yeah, but you have to get that, you know? You have to get a hand on that. Hmm. Thank God he did not kill them, you know. <laughs> oh boy. Wow. Yeah, see Norman, like everyone's not the same. Just like there's different peoples, there are different demons. <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> Emma. <laughs> wow. Is this the same guy that brought them fruit or something? What? What? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like <clears throat> Okay. So this is like the final, you know, journey or something. What? What is this? Oh. Uh. Wait, what? What happened in the end? I'll have to check that portion out. It was so dark. I was ba was barely able to see anything. What the hell? Like, I only saw, like, Isabella for a bit. Okay, so... Hmm. Alright, so, this episode. This was, um... Um, uh... Simple, like... I don't know how I feel about this, you know, like Like, let me just Like narrate how this happened Norman decided to kill all the demons That's why he made Emma leave the place for a bit He started to carry out his uh, Plan Started burning the whole place down, injecting uh, like those things, whatever Those like uh, the, the drug and the demons started to degenerate and like started losing their minds 
and then when time came he was unable to kill them because obviously like like just like humans there are different types of demons and um there are also like okay that's the end there are also demons who are like like there's also demons who are like who love their own kind who love their own family just like humans do and up until now norman has always been like looking at the demons who were evil so now like when the time came he sees the reality and understands that no i won't be able to kill them and okay i kind of expected that from norman but the other you know the other friends of normans i was not expecting them to also have hesitation uh, especially the girl but she was also kind of getting flashbacks while trying to kill that demon kid only vincent was kind of still you know skeptical about the whole situation he tried to kill the demons but norman stopped him and he like <laughs> like i feel like i really feel this extremely weird like um you know when like vincent was going to kill the trying to kill that uh, demon child he said that no i will kill it like uh, for all our like we have a suffering like we have done all of these things for so many days people like they oppressed us so i will kill them and then norman comes and says that vincent stop and he's like okay boss Okay, I get it. Like you know, like Norman saved them, so they are extremely loyal towards Norman. So like they will, you know, do whatever Norman tells them to do. But <laughs> it it was weird, you know. Like he was like seething in anger, and like when, and then just as Norman came and said, "Stop it, Vincent." Vincent is like, oh, "Okay, I'll stop it." Like there was nothing. Like he could have at least like you know, kind of us. Uh, you know screamed at norman or like uh, like raged at norman and said that why like now why now boss like why why now after coming so uh, like uh, so many like after suffering for so much now is the time why are we not doing it and they could have had an argument something like that and then he could have you know um understood the whole situation and said that okay fine like we'll do it your way i'll not like kill them anyways <laughs> oh so yeah I, I, what i was talking about so yeah uh, like vincent uh, like norman comes in and tells them to stop and they stop then they go back to the cave and this vi uh, i forgot his name already that old guy that old demon comes and gives them a hint not a hint but a thing that would help them to uh, go and save the gracefield children and they get to know that the gracefield children are going to be shipped out that's it so in a nutshell norman decided to, do, to kill the demons he was unable to do it stopped his new friends from also doing it they learned that the gracefield children are going to be shipped out they go to the cave extremely conveniently the old demon has minerva's thing that pen thing which also conveniently has each and everything uh, from the gracefield you know house like the security and all of the things and they decided to go stop them i don't know like i'm not saying this is bad but you know comparing these this to season one it's heaven and hell difference like season one was such an amazing story like like nothing could have been predicted like we were like you know like everything was new everything was fresh like everything was happening in such a way that we had no way of predicting stuff and we're getting twists and turns plot twist stuff like that and it was such an enjoyable you know ride enjoyable scary ride but this isn't is like what is this like it's just i don't know if this is because of the way they're rushing it or this is just how the manga was written in the end but it's like they gave up on the story like the way the things are happening like none like like what happened like norman tried to had his determination to kill all the demons and like emma came and like gave him a five minute pep talk and he decided like he said that okay i will not kill them 
like i get it that he did not he was unable to gauge the amount of hatred he had and he was unable to uh like properly understand that whether he would be able to kill the demons that's innocent demons or not but the way they're executing it like they could have like you know the plot there in this episode the way it went out it could have been the, the plot could have been same but they could have executed this a little bit differently you know like added a few little bits of things which could have made it a little bit exciting more exciting you know but they could have kept the same plot like i'm not uh, like whining about the plot i'm whining about the way they executed the plot like it was so simple like it's like like it's, everything's happening so simply and like it's so weird to see like promise neverland season two like this you know the, that same promise neverland which uh, season one had such an amazing execution like they executed each and everything so well in season one but the execution falls short i think in this season like, it's not the fault of the plot the plot plot is i'm still quite invested in the story i'm liking it but the execution is poor you know like i'm really not liking how they're executing this like i think that's the main problem this uh, story had like i've seen a lot of animes with simple plot simple similar plot but there some of them are so good why they're so good because they can execute it properly they take the time to execute it and i think like they're like rushing it and at the same time like making it so simple like everything is like falling like puzzle pieces you know like they're getting um you know arranged so easily like like it's nothing like this is not like is just not like season one like season one had its plot like intertwining kind of having plot twists and stuff and in the end it kind of like when you see the whole picture you see that oh this is quite a simple plot but the way they executed it was so good i don't know I, I'm, I'm still you know interested in the story i'm liking the story like it's not that the quality dropped or something yeah the quality kind of dropped but still it's nothing unbearable it's like it's a good show but they cannot execute it they are really unable to execute it properly anyways okay so okay so I was unable to see what the hell happened in the end. So, what is this? This is some. It's so dark. Like, there's like these backpacks and. This is Gracefield. I have some intel. And I would like to make a deal. Okay, what? I'm sorry if you can't see my face. I'm trying to watch. The screen, it's so freaking dark, I cannot see what the hell Isabella is doing. Like, I can see her face and she's holding something. Oh god. Like, why do, have, do they have to make this so dark? Or, or is my... Is my monitor's brightness low? That must be it, isn't it? Like, it's so freaking dark, I cannot see. And if I mess with the monitor's brightness, it's going to mess with my eye. And I don't want that. So, okay. <laughs> I'll refrain from messing with the brightness of my monitor. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyways. So, yeah. This episode. This episode was, as I said, quite simple. Norman was unable to um, carry out his plan. Because he lacked resolve. He did not think that he would be like this. Uh, like, suffer like this. When, he, when like the real time came to make the decision to kill the innocent demons. He was unable to do that and uh like mujika comes in uh like in a you know like thankfully mujika comes in and she helps the demons to you know uh, turn back into the original form by uh, giving them her blood and we like, get to know that uh, the grandpa demon you know, like he also like he was a survivor from 700 years ago like he was one of the survivors who uh, drank mujika's blood so yeah, and he said like his part of the story that he thought about like using this blood to help the others, but he was scared of himself and his family. Like you know, if they came to under like if the headquarters got to know this, oh boy, he'll be uh, like killed. So yeah, and 
now then we get to another portion where like oh then we get to know that they are going to be shipped out like uh emma and the uh, other like norman and ray get to know that uh the radios is like saying that in the radio it's being said that they will be shipped out or something uh, uh phil and the other children now one thing i'm quite curious you know like isabella has been kind of uh, imprisoned and is with them so who is taking care of phil and the orphanage uh anyways uh yeah and uh then we get to this portion where there's uh, ratri i think his name was ratri wasn't it like uh ratri and uh the like demon were talking and isabella comes in isabella has become a grandma <laughs> wow and you know i i still think isabella is faking it you know like in in the end of season one we saw Isabella kind of changed. Like she even helped Emma and the others to escape. So, like, even though like she was given a deal by Ratri, I I don't know. I I still think he, she maybe she is faking it, and she's probably trying to double cross them or something. I'm I'm not sure. Like in the end, uh, like I was unable to like like decipher what was happening in the end. Like it was so freaking dark, and like I think like. Like Ratri says that I have some deal and I would like uh, intel and I would like, like to make some deal and we see Isabella kind of like has something in her hand and looking weirdly at the thing so I don't know we we should to get the answer uh, in the upcoming episodes so yeah I'll just have to wait anyways so yeah and um yeah that was it that was this episode and um one thing I was quite uh shocked not shocked but i was quite uh like i was not expecting was that uh norman's friends like they really you know gave up their vengeance just when like norman's in, in just norman's one word like norman said stop we're not doing this and that was it and i kind i kind of can understand because like Norman was the one who saved all of them in the first place so their loyalty is quite deep so that's why they said that okay like we like Norman has been suffering for so long and he's like uh, like carrying all of our burdens and he like his own burdens as well so we should probably stop this you know like like not like burdening Norman anymore let us just listen to him and do as he says so yeah that was quite unexpected at least i thought that they would you know kind of whine about it or something and get mad at norman but thankfully they did not and yeah it's all good so yeah so that was it uh was there anything else let me just check a little bit um no Oh, and also another information we got is like they're going to like you know transform everything to the lambda thing that they're doing that experimentation uh, artificially um enhancing the human brain so they don't need to wait for the children to grow up uh i don't think <laughs> i should make jokes about this but you know what this feels like yeah, I should probably not make jokes about this. Like, it's quite so freaking, um, like, ugh, gross that the way they're doing it. But it feels like, you know, fruits and vegetables, they have a season where they, like, are harvested. But nowadays, like, by artificial means, artificial fertilizers or whatever they call them, they, like, we can eat, like, any type of fruits anytime. Like, like previously we had a season for every fruit but nowadays like if you go to the market you can get whatever fruit you want like in whatever time of the uh, like you know season that's what's happening here oh boy anyways so yeah i'll stop it here <laughs> okay so yeah guys that was it that was this episode this was episode number um what was this episode nine yeah episode number nine of promise neverland um, i think there are uh, two more episodes left i think up until episode 11 
so in two episodes i'm guessing this is going to end and as far as i am getting the information that this is most probably the last arc of the show so what they did like so what they actually did was kind of showed a little bit of the manga the like you know after the season one ended just so you know like like we can get a consistency and then they skipped all the portions and went to the last arc and after completing that our last arc, they're going to end this show most probably. Like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> like if they went along the manga path, they could have probably gotten another season. But they just did not do that. They just gave up on most of the uh, like arcs and just said that okay, we'll just do a little bit of this arc of the, the beginning of it, and then we'll go straight to the end. That's what they did anyways so yeah guys so i'll see you guys in the next video so if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything in general i'll be sure to check them out so yeah guys i'll be back with another episode of promise neverland season 2 next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day